Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, today, I want to take a look underneath the Tacoma out here. Reason being, I've been getting a few comments lately from people or seeing a few posts on the web about rust problems underneath the Tacoma, particularly on the frame. Now, if you follow Toyota at all, you know a few years ago, a while back, they had a big issue with rusting frames on the Tundra. So bad that they actually started to replace them for free. And that program, I think, is about coming to an end now. And I, I believe it spanned like about 10 years. So it's been going on forever. I've seen as recently as maybe six, eight months ago, people who are still getting their frames replaced for free from Toyota. What a drag. So I thought, gee, is there a problem with the Tacoma? Do we have rust on our frames? You think so with the comments that I've been hearing, but keep in mind, if you're a heavy off-roader or maybe you drive like a madman and scrape stuff all the time, or a mad woman, you're going to have rust if you scrape the coating or the paint off of the frame or any other part underneath the truck. So there are some other contributing factors there. Of course, you're going to have stones and things that fly up underneath and hit. So you might get rust from things like that. Now, I live in a, a pretty humid climate here. It's always damp and moist. It is right now. So I would think if there's any kind of an issue with the Tacoma, I'm going to see it on my truck because there's always opportunity for exposed or improperly protected frames or under under the truck parts in my area. So we're going to take a look with a little bit of a fine tooth camera and see if I have any rust underneath this truck. I'm curious to find out. Let's have a look. Okay, you guys can see we've got her up in the air there. Uh, I'm going to start actually in the front, I think because that's where we're going to get hit with the most rocks and stones and things, at least, you know, on everything that's uh, kind of exposed up here on the front. So we'll start with the, uh, the little skid plate that they put on here and up here around the wheels and stuff. I don't see anything. Nothing jumps right out at me in here. Got a little bit of a light and I know we're looking into the light, so... We're gonna turn around here in just a minute, but I don't really see anything there. So let's go down, starting with the outside of the driver's side here. Again, just kind of looking for any kind of rust issue or anything, both on the, the sill here or underneath uh, on, the, on the body itself. Not really seeing anything there, that's a good sign. What's interesting, it looks like they did uh, touch up some spots. This kind of feels like a little bit of a rubberized paint or something, but you'll see that throughout the truck. Like they kind of touched up some areas that maybe were uh, either gonna be prone to rust or had rust on them during manufacture or at the plant. And again, given the problems that Toyota has had, uh, I'm sure they're very cognizant of, uh, of issues uh, that they might have with their truck. It's a little wet there. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know what would possibly be wet there, but let's continue on down to the leaf springs here. And you know, you always see rust on leaf springs. Although on this truck, I'm not seeing anything and then on up into the wheel well there. So let's go around to the back here. Again, I'm not seeing anything on mine, and that's a good sign. Not even anything in the, in the leaf springs here, so that's cool. And back up here to the frame, I don't see anything in there. Maybe a little bit starting here on the edges. You guys can see that discoloration. It's pretty easy to pick out rust. It stands out like a sore thumb. Now, checking back here, you can see a little bit around the edges here just a little bit and then on this weld you can see some here and a little bit on the weld here obviously that's going to do nothing but get worse certainly nothing major at this time let's go around the uh, other side of the truck here you can see a little bit of rust starting again these are uh, pretty minor things so far i'm not seeing anything that uh, that would be alarming to me 
let's go around the outside of the passenger side here again more of these little spots that looks like they you know kind of touch something up or maybe are protecting an area more prone I don't know some more of those kind of areas here and again it feels excuse me like a rubberized uh, paint of some sort and you can see it as we go nothing underneath here I'm not seeing anything maybe a little bit of rust inside this hole not sure if the camera will pick that up for you or not you can probably see the little brown discoloration again that's nothing major walking on down here still not seeing anything that's good and up into the wheel well I don't see anything there so let's go uh, underneath here and check out uh, we'll go from the front so let me move my little covers out of the way here so we can actually get underneath all right looking here at the front um, a little speck of rust here again I'm being very picky with this not really seeing anything there looking at the skid plate we do have a little bit of rust here on the corner and a little bit of rust here on this corner and a little bit of rust here on this uh, assembly I guess but again nothing major looking up into the motor there nothing there a little rust on the bolts underneath here that is certainly nothing major let's walk down the edge of the driver's side nothing here on the inside nothing here on the paint that's always good duck underneath there nothing in here again more of this rubberized material be curious to know what this is it's just kind of slathered around here and there and I really wonder if that's not some sort of a rust inhibitor or possibly something put on after the fact to uh, to cover or protect the rust from the rust I should say I don't know and we'll wind you there for a minute we'll get over to the other side here's a little bit of a chip on the uh, leaf spring a little bit here nothing major moving on down more of this stuff you guys can see here kind of painted on it is definitely a rubberized kind of material if anybody knows out there what exactly that is uh, I'd be curious to hear myself let's go back up in here not even much well there might be a little chip there on the weld for the uh, hanger for the exhaust you can see right there not even any rust on these little uh, little bars that go across across here I'd be su I'm surprised because these would uh, be prone to take the biggest hits huh, from anything up oh, there's one there's a little bit of rust there again very very minor nothing on the uh, pan here that's good nor the other pan up here I don't see anything and on up into the tire again your typical rusted bottom of your bolts here that's pretty common um, and that's about it so I'm not seeing uh, any major rust under here as far as uh, my truck goes which is uh, which is good I'm glad to see that um, I have another Tacoma coming I'll mention this again as I do every video just so you guys know and that's the 2020 Tacoma so it makes me feel good that uh, I there's no issues that I can see one more spot I wanted to check uh, that I kind of forgot a little it's the drive shaft let's take a quick peek at that a little bit of rust here where uh, the two parts meet it's no big deal uh, I'm not seeing anything on the drive shaft itself someone had uh, mentioned too a while ago about the joint here leaking theirs did uh, I don't see any leaks on mine of any kind you don't see any fluid or anything here so just uh, to let that person know on up the drive shaft uh, again I don't see any uh, any evidence of any kind of leaking or anything there so I, I think it seems to me like possibly the few cases that I've heard of are isolated um, it's not a widespread or common thing for there to be a lot of rust under the under the Tacoma uh, mine should be pretty indicative of most of them out there I think that haven't done any off-roading 
Uh, again, if you do a lot of off-roading and you're scraping things underneath the truck, well obviously if you scrape the paint or the protection off, you're going to have rust. So kudos to Toyota, um, at least in their Tacoma. I don't see any issues. It'd be interesting to get the, uh, the Tundra up here and take a look at that and see if it looks as good as the Tacoma does. But this is one year's worth of, uh, of service. And as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's perfect. There's a couple little minor things here or there, but certainly nothing that uh, I would have any problem with. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've taken a look underneath your Tacoma. Do you have a lot of rust under there? And if you do, are you an off-roader or just a mall crawler? And it's just rusting. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.